Okay, besties, we have a very big night ahead of us. So, first of all, first of all, my Speak Now cardigan came in. Look how cute this is. I didn't think purple was gonna look that good on me, but why is it kind of eating? And you might be wondering why my hair is in a bow, or you're not wondering at all because my hair is always in a bow. Anyways, I'm going to a Halloween party, and Brianna is also going to this Halloween party. It's for NYX Cosmetics, so I'm going to take you all along because they threw the best Halloween party last year. I went with Spencer, and it was so much fun. But, like, fast forward a few chapters. Um, remember that guy that I went on, like, the first date with? And then I went on a second date with him, and I, like, took you all along. So that guy's coming with me um, as my plus one. So it's our first like event together. Very exciting, I know. I know we missed a few chapters. This is gonna be our sixth time hanging out. We went on four official dates and then two not dates, but like saw each other, you know? I was going to take you guys with me through like me getting ready and blah, blah, blah. First, see if you can guess what my costume is. Can you tell? You probably can't because it's very basic right now. But I'm being Alice in Wonderland and I was gonna take you all along while I did my makeup and my hair and then I ran late and completely forgot to film all of it. So now I'm, I'm just, now I'm just me like this and you know, we're ready. So this is the hair. I got some cute, cutesy earrings, the makeup. We did a little eyeliner. We did my like blue work looking contacts, a bow obviously. And then I have a whole outfit. I'm gonna put that on and I'll show you guys in a sec. So this is my costume. They're cute, they're fun. And there's like some socks and la da da. This is his, he doesn't love costumes. So um, this is the compromise I could get. The Cheshire Cat smile. I can't complain, I like this. And I think they look cute and fun. I have. To, I just have to iron this before I put it on, but y'all will see in a second. Y'all, I'm gonna be real with you, I forgot to vlog. I also but, forgot to vlog. But look at our costume, isn't it so cute? And uh, the person next to her is kind of matching to this. And the person in front of him is kind of matching to me. But we're not, um, you know, in the place to be showing that. At the yeah, we're not at liberty to speak on that. <laughs> yes. Um, so for all you guys know, it's just us two. It's Our actually Alex and Kat are matching us. Oh yes, Alex and Kat. <laughs> oh, they're so cute and they just for some reason don't want to be on camera tonight. We're on the way there and it's really exciting and really fun and shout out to Brianna because as soon as she brought up vlogging, I was like, oh wait, I was supposed to vlog. My bad. We're gonna but remind each other tonight. Don't us two look so cute though? We're and no one else. But I like it. Right? <laughs> okay, well, we'll see y'all there. Everybody say thank you, Tara. She's the reason I'm a vlogger now. Can we talk about this dress? Are you kidding? Right, say hi. Very cute. Very fun. Tara, very cute. Wait, go together. Go together. So cute. Say you love me to me. Can I do a millennial pause? Yeah. Okay. I love you too. Donna is here with a central C? Question mark. Yeah, we love. We all for the camera. Yeah. Guys, it's a new day and Brianna and I are at the Olay Super Serum event and it's so fun. Look at our outfits. Are we not just the cutest little girly pop? We always show up to every event together because we live so close, so it's just like a thing. I know. We're always here together. Yes, we're just, guys, this is just Bri half Brianna's channel. You only need to understand that, all right? It's stunning in here. We just got here. And what is this? <laughs> I don't really remember. It's some sort of gin. I heard my phone and alcohol and I think the alcohol. We we know our priorities, you know? All right, let's explore. They're giving us some goodies. Yes, look how pretty that bag is. So fun, we love. I haven't done it, but I have dry skin. Love. Yay. Perfect. Amazing, thank you so much. We got our goodies. Okay, we're trying to find the only word that's left, which is alpha hydroxy acid. Bree, do you see it? No. Wait, hold on, wait, stop it. Shut alpha up. Alpha hydroxy. Okay, Bree, circle it. Circle it. I'm just a coat hanger. <laughs> Look at this. Guys, I drank coffee, and because of that, I'm shaking and I'm anxious, and my hands are shivering because of that. Yay! Woo! 
Oh, good job, great. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I got you. <laughs> Guys, I'm so hungry. And what are you feeling? What are you grabbing? I'm grabbing anything. They said there's savories at the bottom and sweets at the top. We love. <laughs> Can you tell by Brianna's sweater what tonight is? What is being re-released tonight? Must be Speak Now. You know what? No, I actually think it's debut. <laughs> Question mark. Um, I think she's re-releasing Folklore, actually, even though she already owns <laughs> it. You know what? She's actually re-releasing Midnight's as well. So, mm. anyways. Well, as you, if you couldn't tell, we are being sarcastic. Uh, 1989, Taylor's version comes out tonight at midnight. And we're having a little vine night. And catching up on certain things. Lots of things. Let's just say, um, there's We're both things. lover girls. We are lover. We're not lover harass, you guys. Oh my god. But if that gonna happen at the same time, it's crazy. Is that not so fun? We've been bonding over this because we used to bond over our single girl sh and now we're bonding over relationship girl sh <laughs> Um and yes, it's the guy from the Halloween party. Let's just say things escalated after the Halloween party. And we're going with our man's Halloween parties tomorrow. It's like a thing now. And they're friends, you guys. They bond. They bond. They do bond. It's so cute. I love their little friendship. I there's, know. There's so we're forcing them. They're gonna be on what what's it called? I saw it on Instagram. Uh, it's like a um, mean laws. Homie in laws. They're homie in laws. And we are forcing it. But mine likes yours. Mine right? likes yours too! <laughs> Okay, we love it. Let's just say it's been fun. There's much we have to catch each other up on, so. It's gonna be a night of wine, relationship tea, and, and Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. My favorite kind of night. So we're gonna go get some wineies now. We'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, we got our wine. Now we're just talking until midnight. Okay guys, a very exciting weekend ahead. And by weekend, I mean like, just tonight and then kind of tomorrow. But basically, Brianna and I and uh, some of my other friends, we're going to this really fun like warehouse Halloween party. And uh, Brianna and I are bringing our, um, our mystery man <laughs> with us. Mystery man number one, aka mine is... And we're gonna go. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited and I need to get ready because Look at me right now. I'm not. But it'll be so much fun. I can't wait. It's gonna be a good time. I was just remember to vlog because I forgot to vlog the last one. Like, I forgot to properly vlog it. So my apologies, you guys. But I'm trying for you. And yeah. So I just like cleaned up my apartment just like, a little bit just because I have guests coming over. But yeah, we should be right. Okay, guys. So I'm running really behind. Like it just, you know, y'all know this by now. I'm chronically late all the time. But we're, you know, I ruin everything for myself by doing this. But basically, I'm being Dua Lipa tonight. Okay, and nobody's understanding that. Everybody's being like, "What do you mean you're being Dua Lipa? What, what the fuck even is like? What would be a Dua Lipa costume?" But when I show you guys, it'll make more sense. It's her most iconic look, in my opinion. Like when I think of Dua Lipa, this outfit is the one that I'm like, yeah. And everybody, since I started social media, the number one celebrity. I get told I look like it's Dua Lipa. Time to give the people what they want. I'm gonna do this really fast because one of my friends is on the way and she's fully ready. I'm not. And so y'all know the drill by now. We are using the e.l.f. foundation, the e.l.f. primer. And for concealer, what should I use? I'm gonna use a bit of the Ariana Grande one because I actually really like this one too. And Makeup Forever HD Skin. I love this concealer, this is such a good one. I always wanna be on time more so that I can like enjoy the things I'm doing. Like I wanted to make like TikToks in my costume, do all this shit, and look at my situation now. Literally, I'm just gonna slather my makeup on, get the out of here, basically. That's all we're doing. And I'm putting in my hair extensions tonight. My babies fly like a jet stream high above the whole sea, loves me like I'm brand new. Guys, so to Mystery Man, last night I played him all the Taylor Swift songs that reminded me of him. That's the level that we're at now. And for context, it was I Think He Knows, Gold Rush, and do you remember the songs I played you or no? There's one more, I just can't remember it. Guys, just be yourselves all the time because you'll find someone who thinks your little quirks are cute. Like Mystery Man, for example, doesn't think my Taylor Swift obsession is weird. He thinks it's cute. And because of that, I force him to let me play Taylor Swift all the time. I'm gonna switch my makeup off camera and we'll come back when I'm doing my hair. Okay guys, makeup is done. This is how it's looking, a little darker than I'm used to for sure. And now we need to put in the extensions. Y'all already know the drill. I'm feeling weird because I'm not used to dark makeup on me. And this isn't even that dark, but it just feels dark. But I'm like, Dua Lipa would not overthink this, so I shouldn't overthink it. But y'all know the vibes. I just put my bottom layer in. Now we're doing the next one. We're gonna do a four clip in that. So I just did a three at the bottom. This is a four. That is, let's see the vibes. Okay, next, another four clip. Same vibes, you guys know the drill. Moonlight, you're my starlight. Look at that long hair. Does this look really unnatural and right now, or does it look fine? 
Okay, and y'all remember what happened before where I said it always ends up looking like, you know, I have to put a couple of extras in the front just because y'all know. I don't have to explain this to you, you know. Just like I put one slightly higher right here. Like you're telling me you're not noticing a difference in the picture. Like you can see where the fake hair is, or you can just see a lot of hair. You know what? Even if it looks bad, I don't even have the time to fix it. So guess I'll just die. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, I'm gonna style my hair off camera and y'all will see the final look when I'm ready. Guys, I forgot to show you the outfit, but let's just say it looks very good. Wait, can we take a group photo? Hold we're, on. That's what we're gonna do. Bye. Ready? This is how I look. Giving Dula Peep for sure. <laughs> Brie, I mentioned I was like, our mystery men are here. Yeah. They're kind of right next to us, but yeah. um. I stepped it up. Wait, did you vlog my last version of this outfit? You did. <laughs> Okay, everyone, get in the picture. Whoa. She vlogged the last version. Listen, this, this one's better. Look at it. I bought the costume 20 minutes before. I didn't exactly. have to think about exactly. it. This time, right in. we've she got ate. we've got a little more going on. We've got a little more going on. We've got a little more going on. Look at the bows. Look at the bows. Look at the hair. Look at the. I want you guys to remember the these bows for the future. Okay. okay me I feel like you're framing something else. <laughs> well, hi, besties. So I forgot to vlog completely um i was too busy living in the moment so i didn't vlog anything i'm so sorry i'm gonna try to remember to vlog tonight but last night um let's just say um silly juice was cillian and i did drink a little more than i expected and i did um strike out and crawled home one could say i apparently also got in a fight with mystery man that i have no recollection of but you know mystery man took good care of this and my friends also took really good care of me so i'm very grateful for that but it is still Halloween weekend and I'm going out tonight, but we're not going out out because I'm so tired I'm just going for the vibes really. I'm being a cheerleader. I already did my makeup off camera just like a shimmery, you know A shimmery eyeshadow just a cute fun moment. I plugged my curly iron so I just need to curl my hair But this is the costume super cute and then it's like a, there's like a red bow that goes with it And I'm just gonna put this on first because it doesn't have like a zipper or anything So it's like one of those where like I have to do my hair while it's already on or else I can't get it on so I'm gonna do this and then do a little half up and then put the red bow and it's really cute. Let's get ready. Look, look how insanely cute this is already. And this is just the dress. It's not even the bow. We have to do the bow now. And I'm so excited. But let me know how your guys Halloween weekend was, like what you guys did. I'm having a good weekend so far. Things with Mystery Man are great. I'm gonna be real with you guys, very good. We're definitely very in the honeymoon stage right now. So it just feels perfect. And he's like met all my friends. And, you know, they all really like him. And it's just like, I'm just learning so much from this situation. Like, cause I'm an avoidant type, okay? I don't know if I'm dismissive or fearful. I, I thought I was avoidant, but now I'm starting to think I was fearful. And because of that, I always like struggled with relationships. And when somebody didn't like me, it always made me like them more. And that was all that I was really used to, was guys not liking me. And then with this, I'm with someone who likes me and it's crazy. And it's just making me realize how amazing it is. Like how amazing it is to be with someone who likes you? And like after this, I literally texted this to Brianna because you guys know she's like talking to someone as well. And I was like, whatever it is, I just hope the one thing that we gain out of this is that we both end up being more secure, having secure attachment styles. Because she's an anxious attachment and I'm fearful or dismissive avoidant. Like I'm just avoidant in general. I'm so in my era of like wanting to grow and like wanting to just like do better for myself and better myself for me. I feel like for when I was in high school, I tried to better myself for other people. The way I was back then, there was still so much for me to like heal from and like, you know, learning like certain things that you might've picked up on from your parents, like certain things that like your parents do and you didn't realize you do it because they do it and like all that stuff. Like I wanted to better myself for other people's sake because the way that I was, was making it hard for the people around me. But now I think I'm in a phase where I wanna better myself for me. I deserve someone who's just as obsessed with me as I am with them. I just have realized I have so much love to give and not even on some like I'm the prize, but it's just like, I know how capable I am of making someone's life better and like how much I care about the people in my life and like all this stuff that I'm like, you have to be worthy of that. And if you're not obsessed with me, then you don't deserve that. Like you should be so obsessed with me. And you know, that's the thing, like avoidant people, fearful avoidance, they like love the hardest because they want to love so bad. But I'm just really happy with life right now. I've been really grateful. I've been like praying to God a lot more lately. And you know, I respect everybody's like religious beliefs and stuff. So whatever you believe in, 
go for it. Or if you don't believe in God, that's okay too. I don't I don't judge anybody for their beliefs. I've been so in touch with like God lately and I don't know when it's you know what happened? So when Brianna and I we were at the Aeros Tour premiere, there was just a lot of things that went wrong, okay? And it just got to a point where this day that was supposed to be really good and really fun ended up turning out kind of bad because just so much went wrong. That like when we were in this point we were like waiting in line to like get in basically i literally was like brianna can we just like pray like should we just pray together right now so we just like held hands and like prayed to god we're like please make the rest of this good please let us see taylor at least once like blah 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 and then you guys saw like i ended up literally two feet away from her she was right beside us it was insane and after that brianna and i just had like a really religious talk sort of not even a religious talk but just like a god talk where she was like I literally have noticed anytime I have prayed for something, it always ends up working out. I feel like I was more, I was more religious when I was younger. I don't know, you grow up and like, there's just, I'm gonna be honest, I have a hard relationship with religion, but I have a, I wanna have a good relationship with God. Does that make sense? There's just a lot of things in religion I don't agree with. And we're not gonna turn this into a whole religious debate, but there's just so much stuff in religion that I'm like, that's not, I don't agree with any of that. But when it comes to just God himself, I'm like, I should have a relationship with him, you know? I've just been noticing when I've been like talking to God more and praying and like that kind of stuff, I just noticed things are just better and I'm just happier lately. Then that same night, Brianna and I prayed for these boys. Like we just sat there, literally held hands, like closed our eyes. And we were just like, if these boys are like meant to be in our lives, like let it work out, please. And like, let this be like a healthy something. And if they're not meant to be in our lives, that's fine. But please like show us now so we don't waste any more of our time or get damaged or hurt by these. And then like, Ever since then, you guys, with both of them, it's amazing. Like, Brianna and I actually ended up basically in, like, relationships at the same time. And I can't help but feel like the prayer took part in that. Also, if you guys don't like religion talk, I'm so sorry. You don't have to listen to this. You can just, like, skip this portion. But I feel like this is just what's on my mind right now. I read something not too long ago about how a lot of rich people... I don't even know what my thoughts are on, like, heaven and hell, okay? But it was, like, a lot of the times rich people and like really successful people like don't get into heaven because when do you find yourself turning to God the most? When you're going through hard times. Like hardship is what makes people like think about God and stuff, you know? As Taylor Swift says, desperate people find faith. And the reason why a lot of them don't like make it to heaven or whatever is because they're always doing so well in life that they rarely think about God, you know? So I've been trying to make more of a habit of like thinking of God when I'm grateful too and not just when I'm sad. Because when I'm going through yeah, I might pray, but like I feel like I need to pray even when I'm happy. And I've been like talking to God like daily, being like, thank you for this, I'm so grateful for this. I'm just in such a disbelief of some of the things that I've like achieved this year. And I feel like it'd be ridiculous to not, you know, give him some credit. Thank you. Never ever in my life did I think I would get on YouTube and like talk about God, but you don't have to be religious to I'm gonna finish curling my hair and then I'll bring you guys back when I'm styling it. Okay guys, here's how the curls are looking. Now I just wanna do a cute little half up, half down moment. I was like starting to do it and then I was like, wait, I'm supposed to film it. And then I stopped. Just, just for you guys. I'm having one of those moments where, okay, love that. I'm just feeling really anxious. I don't know why. We'll figure this out. I'm gonna have a good night, so. I feel like that's a good amount. I just need to figure out my bang situation. Oh, guys, I want to learn Turkish so bad. I say that, but then I always miss my Duolingo lessons. And my mom speaks it. I want to speak it. Ugh. You know what does that stupid thing where it's like really messy? Be normal. Be normal. See that? You guys see it. You see it. I don't want to have a mental breakdown on camera, so I'm just going to fix it off camera and then... I'll be back. Okay guys, this is the final look. I finally kind of got my hair how I wanted it, but I am also just settling because I couldn't do it anymore. But it's so cute. This is not adorable. She wears short skirts, I wear a t-shirt. She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find the what you're looking for has been here the whole time. Anyways, I am running late. So I'm gonna go. But I'll give you some little videos here and there, but it's a really uneventful night. Like we're just going out because it's how we get. We're on the streets. Guys, look at these. Pillsbury, it says, shake ass, twerk ass for cookies. Hello my besties, hello my loves. We're back in my bathroom, which I feel you guys spend so much of this vlog in because I always forget to vlog. I'm so sorry about that, but y'all are just gonna have to accept that that's how I am. I, I love living in the moment and that's why I hesitated so much on being like a vlogger because I was like, I'd always have to be thinking like, pull my phone out, pull my phone out, pull my phone out. And I love being present 
in the moment when I'm doing things. It is what it is. But I thought I'm really tired and I have slept very poorly this entire weekend. I thought we could just have a like a cutesy little debrief and just talk about things and my weekends and Halloween weekend in general while, you know, we just get ready for bed together. And I feel like you guys always see my routines for like random stuff. You never see my nighttime routine. So for starters, we're gonna take all the lashes because I'm done. And then next, I'm oh, taking out the contacts. These are my like grayish blue ones, very natural. There's so much, y'all don't even know. So the night I was dressed as the cheerleader, we weren't even gonna go out. Like our plan was like, let's just not even go out because we were both so tired from the night before. And like I said, I literally died. So I felt like absolute garbage the next day. And then, um, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, damn. Y'all see that? That's crazy. Anyways, and my friends didn't want to go out either because they were like, I feel like death, I'm not going. And I was the one being like, come on guys, like it's Halloween, like we should just do something. Like, let's just have like a chill night, but like we should still go and like all this stuff. And then after like convincing of Vince Zang, I ended up finding this like house party. I just asked my friend, I was like, how about we just pull up to this party? We don't, we won't even like drink. We won't do anything. Like, let's just have like a chill time. Let's just go. And then I was like, and if it's bad, let's just walk King Street because walking King Street is so much fun. If you're from Toronto, you know, like I genuinely enjoy just walking up and down King Street. Like on a night out, it's just so lively. There's so much stuff going on. There's so many things. It's just, especially in the summer, it was so much fun. And I was like, I know that it's gonna be like that because it's Halloween. Like why wouldn't it be crazy? So she agreed. She was like, okay, let's go out. If the party's bad, we'll just go walk King Street and then we'll just come back to mine. Worst comes worst. I was like, perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be using the Elf Holy Hydration Bounce Back Jelly Cleanser with Coconut and Aloe. This is my favorite cleanser ever because it's like a jelly cleanser. You guys are gonna see me in the most humbling state. And guys, look at this face towel. I got this when I was in Japan. Face towels are so huge in Japan. Everywhere you go, you will find face towels. I don't know why they love these so much, but it's a Sailor Moon one and it's so cute. I kind of do this weird. I know this isn't the proper way to do it, but I'll like wet my hands and then just use that. Instead of like wetting my face, then the cleanser and like, let it know. So we end up going to that hotel where we got invited. I call the guy like 10,000 times i walked into this one party thinking it was our party we were not on the list we were not a member we were nothing it was so embarrassing and it was literally an alice in wonderland theme party and i pull up in a cheerleader outfit being like let me in and they're like this is an alice in wonderland party and you're not even on the list and i'm like oh okay my bad i was like i was invited by somebody my apologies and then we ended up we went to the hotel we went to the bathroom in the hotel just chilled i called the guy like seven times he did not pick up and then i was like okay this, let's just go walk King Street and like there's this one bar it's called Petty Cash okay it's one of my favorite bars in Toronto I just think it's so fun so lively it's just so like youthful not youthful but like my age do you know what I mean like I sometimes go to places where I'm like it's like, literally 30 plus and I'm like I'm I want to see people around my age so we go around like we walk the streets and then we go to Petty Cash and then they were like the security guards are usually really nice really let us in but it turned out it was a ticket at night like you have to have the tickets to go so we couldn't go there so we go to this other bar it's called Ruby Soho we pull up there the bartender's the sweetest guy ever we're just dancing and vibing and having a great time and then he comes over and he's like pick one of my hands and then I was like this one he's like are you sure and I was like yeah he opens it up it's a piece of paper and it says tequila and then he brings us tequila then we're just like talking talking we take one come on we love you thank you so much and then he comes over he gives us a whole box of candy we eat the candy we're chilling we're vibing comes over again gives us more tequila and we're like oh my god what is happening this is the best night of our entire life then we leave and we, we tell him we're like we love you we love you we go to this other bar called paris texas which is a new country bar which is really fun and then we go there that was also ticketed so they wouldn't let us in so we went somewhere else and we go in there and they start playing taylor swift and i'm just like living my life i have so much fun there and then while we're at this place my friend that i'm with realizes that this other bar called mr wolf the guy that she has like a fling with his friend was there okay all right well, let me get do my next step so i love tatcha the essence i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't really know what it does anyways i'm gonna put some of this on and i'm gonna also put on some retinol i'm using the ordinary retinol 0.5 squalene i some someone talk, asked me about how much retinol you're supposed to use i don't know much about retinol but i just know you're supposed to start really low so do not pop into like a one percent immediately like start really low because you want it to be like diluted and so we go there and they're like no it's ticketed you can't get in unless you want to pay 80 dollars cover and we're like we're not paying eighty dollars, okay? And then, long story short, we find a way in. We just, we just are those girls, okay? We did end up paying a little bit of money, but not that much. And I just want to write it out for her because I'm seeing somebody, so I don't need to live like a single life and worry about that kind of stuff. But I need to vicariously live through my friends, and I know she would do the same for me. Had I been single, and that was the case, um, I know she would do it for me. So I was like, let's do this, and we get in. It wasn't his friend that was in his there. It was him and his entire friend group. And I also just realized 
realized that maybe this is not my business to tell. So never mind, but let's just say successful night, okay? So overall, it just ended up being a really good night and we went in thinking that it was gonna be the worst night ever. And I find that the nights that are the best nights are the ones where you think it's gonna be bad. Overall, I had a really good Halloween weekend. I had one night that I barely remember and then this night that was really fun. And then tomorrow I'm doing a more cozy Halloween, like more just, chill vibes you know and then as for bay updates let's talk about that i'd be lying if i said i wasn't really obsessed with him every time i'm with them i'm just like oh i like you more Ugh, i don't know i don't know i'm definitely in that lavender haze at the moment i did tell him that i do want him to buy me a necklace one day with his initial on it because i was like Listen to the song, I played him the line that I want to wear his initial around a chain around my neck not because he owns me, but because he really knows me. And he like giggled and he said he'll make it happen. So one day I am getting that necklace. And I know I'm in the honeymoon phase right now and I know that I'm in that stage where I'm like, oh my God, everything's perfect and blah, 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 blah. And he's perfect and we're perfect. And as of right now, it's very good. It's very fun. Brianna has her man, I have mine. Life is good. I can't be more grateful. And this is the Tatcha Silk Serum because I love this. It's so, mm, 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 yum. I have so many moisturizers. I never know which one to use. We'll use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It's 24 hour daily lightly hydrating formula. I don't know at what point do I just stop talking about it and start keeping it to myself, but I did soft launch it on my close friend story. Like I did post it and all my friends were like, hello. Cause most of them like kind of knew I was like talking to somebody, but nobody really knew the extent that it's gone to. And everybody's like, whoa, 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 what's happening? And I was like, yeah. I told him that if he tries to end it off with me before three months, I'm just gonna say no, because no. I was like, after three months, fine. If you're not feeling it anymore, that's okay. But three months minimum so and last step that i've been doing is putting on a lip mask because my lips are so chapped all the time because of this canadian gold i hate it i hate it and we're using the laneige lip mask yeah Mwah. and that's usually like kind of it for my night routine i'm gonna be real with you most of the time i just do cleanser maybe moisturizer and head out i did a little extra for you guys because i should be doing those things but i never do and i'm just lazy yeah also, you guys want a good toner? I don't really use toner that often, but this one, Brianna swears by it. She says it's like the best toner she's ever used in her life. I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm so sleepy, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching the vlog. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. If you guys like the vlogs, tell me. If you'd prefer that I do like a mix of vlogs and other things, tell me that too. But as of right now, I'm liking vlogging and I love you guys, so bye.